Yeah, Svelkit Relate Con. Do you think I should use it in production for a startup? Yes. <laughs> no. Depends a bit on your use case, on your team. Are you alone working on a project? Do you mind that you run into bugs that are not that well thought out yet? Um, do you already know uh, Svelte alone? Yeah, yeah. then um, I think, think Svelte is a good uh, JavaScript framework to learn because it's not that difficult to get into. Yes, yeah, okay, you know Svelte already, yeah. Then, uh, then basically SvelteKit is the, the obvious uh, choice if you want to do some server-side rendering. I think just with the basic uh, Svelte project with Node, then, then it also works. Yeah. yeah, it depends also on your project, of course. How many pages do you want? What do you want to do? Will it be aesthetic? If it's static, then I would also recommend SvelteKit because they are, it's compatible and uh, the pre-rendering is really awesome. Yeah, I think SvelteKit, it's not stable yet. They still work on it. We did an update of SvelteKit as well. We run into two minor issues. Uh, they were not that difficult to fix, but we did have to fix them because it's still in beta, things still change. Yeah, I think it should be an option for you to, to use it. Also, you have to look at the backend because SvelteKit is more like a front-end part. So if you want to store data, where will you store it? There are a lot of options here as well. I use Firebase, but uh, yeah, there are other options you can uh, look into as well. Like uh, the official adapters, they will have some options for you like Begin, Cloudflare, and let's fly Versal. So it's not just SvelteKit you have to pick, but also what uh, what adapter will you use to uh, to render it. Yeah, indeed, they removed the get context hook. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's like the main disadvantage. I did look into using Vue.js for this project as well, but yeah, they, they also have this Next 2.0 and basically if I wanted to run fight with Vue, I, I had to run also a beta version and you, you basically will run into a lot of the same issues that you run into with SvelteKit with the server-side rendering things and uh, yeah just it, it is a bit more complex than having to run everything on the client and especially if you use authentication and yeah there's some complexity that you will have to solve i think in svelte it was on the reddit was it was a new new authentication package as well um it's not official but yeah like this google uh, provider uh, facebook provider to log in i think these these are probably bit if you don't want to do use firebase authentication and probably will create this quicker with a mature uh framework than uh, than SvelteKit because they yeah it's still uh, not complete with the ecosystem so that's something you have to uh, work with yeah I really have to go uh, thanks for uh, for being here please follow the stream if you haven't it really helps the stream but for now I have to go thanks for being here and uh, see you later and I will try to fix the music.